After cleaning it, the table must be laid again and marked as available. The two last activities can occur in any order. After they are both done, the process finishes. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the implicit termination pattern. A given process instance should terminate when there are no remaining work items that are able to be done either now or at any time in the future and the process instance is not in deadlock. There is an objective means of determining that the process instance has successfully completed. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. Ok, here we start with A and then we have the AND split and now uh, the process continues, so we continue with C, then we finish E and so this branch is terminated and then we complete B and finally we complete D and the process instance finishes. In BPMN this is supported by ending every thread with an end event. When the last token generated by the start event is consumed, the process instance terminates. Ok, here in BPMN, our process guests have left and we clean the table and then we have the parallel gateway and we first mark the table as available and then we lay the table again and then the process instance is finished. This particular example is very simple. We could have used an exclusive gateway, an inclusive gateway or a far more complex workflow as long as every thread is terminated by an end event. Thank you for watching.